My name is Jana Veronik. I'm a CEO of Veronik Realty Group, a luxury real estate team in Berkshire Hathaway, California. Let me introduce you to Karen Trejo Martin. She's an immigrant and a Hispanic woman in business who, together with her husband Chris, created and built the Kitsali brand, a regenerative real estate development company. Their mission is to bring families closer together through building custom luxury dream homes. And now we are here in a beautiful vineyard in Vineda San Lucas at Villa Armenia, which is looking for a new owner. The owner who believes that only high quality, well-designed homes can appreciate over time and be valuable. Karen, tell me a little bit about yourself. How did your cultural experience shape the way you see the world and your business? I grew up in a small little town in San Luis Potosí, Mexico. I grew up in the mountains where family and nature is very important. So I wanted to create a place where I could share the same thing. I could share family, I could share nature, where other people could enjoy what we enjoy the most. Thank you so much for sharing. Let's talk a little bit about your brand Kitsali. When creating the name for the brand, I wanted to be something original. And as mentioned, I grew up in the mountains and in that place, they uh, speak a dialect, Nahuatl. So the word Quetzali, it's a root for the name of the bird in my logo, the Quetzal. Mm. Quetzali means beauty and freedom. I also wanted to add that Quetzali brand is a reputable company nationally and internationally with projects in Florida, Texas, New York, and now in Mexico, which is uh, Villa Armonia. Can you walk me through the property? Yes, I can do that. Um, the property has a very great, wonderful flow throughout the entire property. But we have the main house, which has four suites, and it has a very great room, a lounge, with a fireplace and a piano where you can hang out and relax. And also, the, my favorite room is the kitchen. We can have a chef can come cook for us and enjoy a great dinner uh, in front of the chef. And then let's let me take you a little bit outside. We have different fireplaces and areas where you can sit and enjoy um, some time, a glass of wine, and enjoy some time with family. We go around and we have a great outdoor kitchen where I have a beautiful pizza oven. We have a big a dining area where you can have a great dinner in the evening. We have the pool. We have the jacuzzi. There can be about 10 people in the jacuzzi. We have the TV there where you can enjoy maybe a game with friends too. And um, then I can take you to the yoga court. We have the gym and the sauna. Then I take you to that separate um, little area. It has three suites. All of them have uh, walk-in closets and um, warm floors. In the main floor, we have the whiskey bar. And then you go to downstairs, we have the cinema and the beautiful cava, the wine cave, which has a capability for about a thousand bottle wines. We can have a wine tasting there, caviar bar. Anybody can enjoy it themselves here, a whole entire family. Mm. We can have the kids watching a movie in the cinema. We can have the ladies enjoying an afternoon in the sauna. I already could see this house filled with laughter, with lots of family gathering, people getting together. And what I wanted to mention that each bedroom has its own walk-in closet and in-suite bathroom that makes every member of the house important and which is amazing for any any family can you please tell me who did all the interior design for the property it was a teamwork so it was the architects and the interior designers we sat with them my husband Chris and I we just went through all the palettes that they presented to us and we decided to go with all these natural colors that actually just enhance the beauty and nature of the color that comes from the outside.
all the lighting fixtures were created for the property. It was created by Mexican brands, as well as all the furniture in every single room. We also um, got a designer that did all the linens for every single room, 100% cotton, created and branded for Quetzali. You can see that that the logo. In so each everything one of them, is custom. Everything was custom. Everything was curated. Everything was made for the house. We used as much as we could the Mexican brand, Mexican artisans. Unbelievable. So basically, it's a toothbrush radius. We say uh, you just bring your suitcase uh, and uh, that's it. So Correct. everything comes with the house, like the furniture, the lighting, the the, the art. Everything will stay. The next owner will get to enjoy everything because everything was, for, it was created for the house, so it must stay. When I arrived to this place, I was shocked in a good way about the nature, about the lavender fields, uh, about vineyards. Can you tell me a little bit about surroundings and the local community? We are in a zone of agriculture. We have our, our own olive trees, we have our own vineyards, we have also our own lavender production. So all that is in the property. So the development shares crops. And whenever it's time of harvest, we all share the production for wine, for olive oil and lavender oil. So you don't have to do anything? We don't. Anything that is agricultural, the development does everything for it. All the maintenance for it, but also the harvest for it. And then we just receive what is our portion. Is the community gated? Yes, very safe, gated. The property also has um, a couple of areas that are public. Oh, so there welcoming. are some hotels in there, right? Very small boutique hotels, very curated too. We have two polo courts where we have mm. polo matches and different events. How many homes are in the community approximately? There's no many. There's very, it's very exclusive. I'll say at the moment it's probably about 30. In Vineda San Lucas, where we are located, we're only 15 minutes from San Miguel de Leante. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. And San Miguel, I mean, you better uh, explain me what, what it is, because I heard it's like amazing, amazing city of with Barocco style buildings. It is. Tell me. It is. It's very cultural, very European, upscale, small town. Um, the, the place has been, has kept that cultural and traditional for Mexico way. We do have a lot of tourists that like to come and live here. Very upscale, we have great restaurants, we have great art, lots of art, and uh, it's just a, a very beautiful little town. As you said, it's 15 minutes away. You can go to Centro, which is the famous area of San Miguel de Allende, because all the beautiful architecture, all the beautiful homes, all the beautiful restaurants and rooftops that you can enjoy in the evenings. Mm. But if you want to relax, then you come back to this property. And then you can have a nice, quiet evening sleep or a nice dinner out in the patio. The art, I heard this about like 200, 300 uh, like artists uh, presented in San Miguel and some of the art here is, uh, uh, is like local artists, correct? Correct, correct. We have actually an art, uh, like a plaza, of an art area downtown, which is called La Aurora which is all where the artists, most of the artists are for one of the renowned artists here in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. Yes, Fernando Diaz is his name. Thank you so much for sharing this experience with me. And I actually wanted to end our interview with the quote that your dad always told you. No matter what success come into your life, it's your duty to always share it with, with others. others. And this is what you're doing representing Armonia Villa. You're sharing with others and you're sharing this experience with the new future owner. And this is what sets apart this property. My husband, Chris, he foresaw, he's an investor. He wants a property that is, uh, has quality. 
and it's safe for everybody and it will last you forever. Multi-generational, as I said before. The quality and sustainability. Correct. Quality, sustainability. He creates in comfort and beauty and luxury.